We have heard from veteran Sacramento Police Patrol Supervisors that up to 90% of our patrol officers' time on day watch and into swing is tied up dealing with mentally ill and homeless individuals in our city. Our terribly understaffed police officers have to respond to high-priority calls and focus as much attention to them as they can. The series of events here lead to some conclusions. We begin with a high-priority assault with deadly weapons weapon call phoned in by a transient. When the high priority assault with a deadly weapon call was put out, it was annotated code 12, which meant there were no units available to respond to it. A female officer just logging on put herself on the call and began requesting additional information. Attention officer, three units, code 12 and 245, time element, no sector, three units available, Richard Boulevard and Vine Street in 3A. Claims advising they're walking westbound on Richard being followed by about six subjects who are throwing rocks at the complainant. They're all male, black, 18 to 20 years of age. Alpha 32, we finally got a car. We're logging on now and we'll take that. I copy. One of the subjects says he has a gun, but no guns been seen so far. And at Alpha 32, they're now walking eastbound on Richard. And it looks like the complaint is continuing on westbound. Stay on through, I copy the 245. Alpha 32, and we're en route. And until we log on, can you just give me the description of the complainant and the direction of travel again? I'm sorry, I don't have a description on them, or I would. The suspects are male black, 18 to 20, is about six of them. They're going eastbound on Richards now. The complaint is still walking westbound on Richards. I'll ask the call figure to make sure they get the description. Check. The complaint never gave us a description. So when it went to an open line, he was yelling at the subjects in the background, and the line disconnected. In 2032, we attempted call back, no answer. Uh, Alpha 32. So far, we keep talking to people, and they're showing us more eastbound. We haven't found them yet, though. Okay. Yeah. Sam 3, do you have somebody around for the 245? Hey, from 2 Alpha 32 is working it right now. Okay, check. Alpha 32, we've got our victim. 2 Alpha 32, what's your 925? Sorry, we're right in front of the cash and carry, um, just west of Dos Rios in Richards. Okay. This lone female officer's time was tied up for approximately 30 minutes. This call has been shrunk and reduced to a much smaller amount to give you an idea of the effort put into looking for suspects. And this is the outcome of that call, probably on a free government phone. Alpha 32 update. Gun is unfounded. 245 is unfounded. 415 verbal. Transient just wants to make sure that they don't follow him anymore. Copy. That's very copy. Thanks. So we saw officers were tied up with a bogus call while a serious call is occurring as that broadcast is ending. Two Alpha 32, control one. 32. I just want to give you a heads up. I have a 211 report that came in. Three feel like Union Street and 3A. The victim is saying that she's tracking the suspect on our GPS now. Okay, Kepper, we're clear now. Two Alpha 32 on this call. So it looks like he 211 her and took her phone off the south side park. He was a male black male Sorry, mid twenties, dark complexion, five foot five, medium build, short hair, lasting wearing a red shirt, possibly with a sports logo on it. He also tried to force her to two six one. She advised she got away from him, took off running, he ran in the opposite direction. Looks like she GPSing him on the way her way towards land park. Four and three. Go ahead. I'm gonna advise four two. Check and if you can have them send somebody to the area, check it. Hey from us if there's someone available. Sam 3, control. Go ahead. She's got 41, Charles 41 and Charles 43 going to the area. Perfect, thank you. 2 Alpha 32, control. Go ahead. Just a heads up, 1 Alpha 48 may be making contact with the suspect. And Alpha 32, we copy, they got him on the other side. Copy, thanks, that just came in. Sam 3, I copied that last update on the 211. Thank you. It sounds like there's a successful outcome to this violent crime, but we may never know because oftentimes it's difficult to get the outcome, particularly when it happens across districts and with multiple officers involved. I also recognize that this was an extremely busy Friday night at that hour as it approaches bar closing and the mayhem associated with that in our city and too few officers to handle it. We would like to know who the suspect is. We've made the request because clearly if he's still on the loose, the public has a right to know. If he's in custody, we also have a right to know so we can follow up to see if punishment fits the crime.